Chapter 7, 10.05 p.m. I just can't get the images I saw at police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe did it. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out is Point X. But when I got here, I found the place in ruins. Did a giant chick turkey leg, chicken leg fall from the sky? A car crashed into here? What the hell? Whoa, what in the world happened here? Trick time. Oh, the heavens. What do I do if I had known something like this would happen? I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she'd had her fill. Actually, about the singing, she did tell me she'd had her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. His nose looks like... I don't know, tandoori chicken or something. According to that police radio conversation, I heard Lynn should be here. I don't see her anywhere. It seems like bad luck has it, has it in for that redhead. Is she underneath the chicken leg? So I was half expecting to see her in trouble again. I spotted the corpse of the van driver. She's under there! Do you guys see? There's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. That's her hair. Oh, there we go. Look at me. I'm dead. What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting more, more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Have to be tough, you know. Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? Okay, let's swap info then. Okay, so my murderer... On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, he was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. Security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kid. Wait, who is this a flashback when he said you're kidding, right? Or what do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me! I didn't shoot you! If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? Because! I told you before! You were supposed to give me some information! Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? Why she shot me? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. 
So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree. That would make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. Whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know. You've got to believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all of my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me. And then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No, I didn't shoot you! Please tell me. What did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? That's what I want to know! D99's work schedule. Blank. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard on his cell. But the thing is... There wasn't anything written on D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? Blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because... He's going to be executed! Executed? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Do you know what prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say. But it's not true. He would never! Detective Jowd would never do anything like that! And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Oh, it sounds like a setup. Some important people are pulling the strings. They want to get rid of him to silence him or something. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case, the prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now! Well, you're dead. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, he must be connected to me in some way too. After all, he obviously knows me. We can't ask about the painting though? Alright, point X. Police were sticking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white suit inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? you remember that note that I found? Yeah, I remember. That note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and time written on it. The Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. In other words, I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight? Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I have le had left. 
and this here is point X. So that must mean... The mark the police were waiting for was... me? So... what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. We still don't know enough. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all the mysteries of me? No, clearly not. Clearly not. What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you. That's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was. Why I was killed. And I'd like to know who those guys are. I want answers, and I'm going to find them. But to do that, I'm going to need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you. Not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry, either. But I'll help to see it... But I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now, I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is so good! Oh, boy. Alright, I, I just... I, I'm getting, like, really good feelings that I'm gonna really enjoy this... I'm going to have really enjoyed this once I'm done with it. I have high hopes for this story. All right, let's rewind time. And I think we'll stop here. This can only be used at times when you're... In okay, so not yet. We can't save yet. The note said, The Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. What's this? More funny looking characters. Here you go. I wonder why some people are just casually blue. Blue skin. Where's my chicken? <gasps> Can I eat that thing? <laughs> Did she make it fall? <laughs> Police car. She saved the girl. And then squash. <laughs> You're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this. It was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you save somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? Next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try some... You should try one this, about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know, the detective thing at all. Wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. Trick time. Um, there's a bell we can ring. 
a sign holder we can examine that and a note we can examine okay so let's examine the sign holder it's no use i can't read what it says let's see oh hey now i remember what that sign says if you would like some water please ring the bell three times three times yeah the waitress doesn't bring any water if you only ring the bell once she said those are the rules apparently and apparently i said apparently what do you mean apparently don't you work here quite a stickler for the details this detective all right that's good information we have a note you wrote this note right i i think so but i don't remember 10 o'clock that means it's already time for your meeting with whoever it is now that i think about it whoever you were supposed to meet might already be here you're the detective shouldn't you have checked that when you got here oh yeah sorry the chicken at this restaurant is really good so you know <laughs> um no i don't know maybe we should take a look around the rest of the restaurant all right well i can't really go anywhere else so we're gonna ring the bell three times one Oh, I only ring it once. That's okay. You rang? Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't ring the bell. Oh, okay. I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. Oh, okay. That's all right then. The chief is the one who makes the chicken. No sense in harassing me about it, right? Just keep that in mind, okay? Wait, come back! Oh my gosh, it won't let me. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> you agree with yourself? Maybe I was supposed to look around. He should be here by now. Doesn't he know the first rule of making a deal? Never keep the customer waiting. Be quiet for a minute. There's a bug in this restaurant somewhere. A bug? I don't see any bug. Right there. A ladybug. I just hate little bugs. Did she just burn the bug with fire? Cause that's fucked up. I think we should check out those two upstairs more. Okay, I I know. I I will try. I will try. Let's start over. All right, but let's let's ring the bell three times. Oh, she brought. Wait, how did it let me? Hello. I was never able to do that before. No matter how many times I pushed the button, it just rang the bell once. Was I doing it too fast? <laughs> what? What? Ugh. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to reproduce that, so I hope we can get a checkpoint. You want more water? Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't ring the bell. And what's with this more water bit? Oh well, come on, this is your third glass. Oh, okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? All right, so this is the same dialogue. Duly noted, in the meantime, enjoy a nice glass of water. 
Okay, finally I've moved. Jeez, that was frustrating. I tried ringing the bell three times. Like, so many times. out from there here you go this is one big trunk it seems pretty heavy too it's very suspicious and red hey let's see what's in it sorry but that's not possible it's locked darn I wanted to see what's inside what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. But those incidents did happen in this country, just as he predicted. Yes, and they were pretty amusing, too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. But what if he double crosses us? It wouldn't be pretty. No, no. He needs this deal too. And we've accepted all his conditions as well. Yes, and thanks to that, we have to be here on this extra little assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guy who's saying national secrets. The man who held siege to Metro Police. Those cases are classified information. Hmm, I've heard about both of those cases, and recently too. The perpetrators in those cases are being held in a special facility. That's what the special prison is, but it's not known about by the general public. So prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd, is one of those special cases too, huh? These two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be it. Just coincidence, could it? What is it, beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? That table in the back looks good. Now you're talking, beauty, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot. Just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get this feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go, across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. Yeah, bring your chicken. But you're not taking your big old briefcase with you? Did she sense we were here? What, with her sixth sense? Haha. <laughs> but you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah? Like what? Like... Like if there's chicken nearby, I can tell right away. That's called a sense of smell. But anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. Okay, we got a checkpoint. Examine. No, same dialogue. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. I should have known. I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. Says the ghost. But come
come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? It looks that way. Not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. What are we going to do now? They're all the way over there. I'm telling you, we better shake a leg or we're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg not having legs and all. They're still talking about something. I want to hear! Me too. What's up, Artifleck? Hey, Dro. 30 stream streak. Nice, nice. The sound design is very Phoenix, right? It's pretty cool. I like it. Like when you shot a fire arrow at the torch and it just won't light. Yes, <laughs> exactly. All right, so now we can move around a bit. Let's see. We have a glass. We have a bell we can ring. And we have a bottle dispenser we can dispense. All right, let's dispense. So I was wondering, we're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? Uh, we just might be. Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over to where those two are, we have to use this red trunk they forgot somehow. Sounds about right. What's your other thought? It doesn't look like this blue-haired bartender is going to be much help. So I guess we have to find somebody who can help then. Yeah, we gotta ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. You saw that couple over there and you started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Forgive me, but I didn't ring for anybody. What? Now, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. I've been working here for two days and I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Now, would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick to shaking cocktails? <laughs> Senpai, notice me. She has a surprisingly short career with this place. All right. Um, let's see. Well, we can try ringing the bell three times. Um... Nope, uh, doesn't let me. But while they're talking, I can dispense. And she'll notice it. Oh, you just broke that glass. Just like you did my heart. A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it there. Somebody might get hurt! Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? The only thing we allow customers to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk if you would be so kind. No, just take it over there. How gallant of you! I might just fall for you, you know. She is way too forward. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Hey girl, everybody here thinks you're weird. I can't get back over there. I think I need to wait for him to place the glass down. And I can get back to the briefcase or the trunk and then let's see what's going on here. I've been working here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun! <laughs> what the fuck? I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. What the hell? 
Oh, he's gonna go grab it. Of all the things to forget, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. I wanted to see the girl on the roller skates try to drag it, <laughs> drag it over on her roller skates. That is heavy. Is there a body in there? Like what? Here we are, finally! I feel kind of bad about eavesdropping though. Not me. I mean, we just delivered their lost trunk to them after all. They owe us at least that much. What kind of detective says something like that? Another checkpoint. Oh, good. All right, we have a flower vase, a light we can swing. Let's see if they have any conversation. No, okay, swing the light. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? Oh, right. Who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, of course, that is. We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm, but aren't we alone now, beauty? Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Oh god. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway? It looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. No, but I'm gonna be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Um... Ugh. Uh... Wait, I don't know. Oh no. Whoa! I got it! Chicken bone! Come on, come on, come on. Let me do something. Uh, uh, flashing light. Okay, um. Cutting it close here. Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me. Could you wake up for a second, please? Who she is ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and you were like that too. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? simple. We go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver over here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know how it'll go. But if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death, too. Oh, wow. Can't think of any other way. Let's try it. Okay. Here we go again. What the? That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? And we just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about 
an extremely important case is extremely important witness currently extremely on the run now what should i report this to inspector cabanella they told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency but i think i'd better call this in or lynn wonder what she did this time Inspector Cabanella is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. What's the matter? All right, fine. Point X. Idiot! Yes, sir. I'll go get her. So why does this guy crash? The static is awful. So this is when he goes back to get the trunk. With a small body, you probably have a small brain to match. That hurts. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. Oh, he's listening in. He's got he's got them bugged. I can't hear very well. Oh, what the hell? So we need to prevent her from messing with the with his bug. Wow, the van driver was a detective. Looks like it. I noticed something though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash. I remember hearing it before. You're right. We just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. She burned up the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo! Now let's stop it from happening. Man, I don't get paid enough for this shit. That's that's something that Husbando would enjoy. Okay, recline the seat. All right, uh, raise the seat, and now turn on the light. He's gonna see the binoculars there, and he'll take them with him to the phone. Maybe I don't know. Let's get in there. What are these doing here? Oh yeah, here we go. Detective Ringe? This is memory. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanella will be furious. They're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? All right, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later then. Hold on. Did you see a customer come in just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh yeah, that restless, suspicious chick? Sure. Suspicious? 
I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. But I never did that. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her too if you would. You got it. Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent. And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious too. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. That probably happened before we we got here. Um, no. I don't know. Anyway, did you hear about what I heard? About the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So, should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. I think we need to go there. We need to stop her from bugging that chicken. Hey, look where we are. The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yep, or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say, where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Hmm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. So we're here and we need to stop her from bugging that um, chicken. So we have a telephone, a switch, and a t-shirt, which we can scrunch and stretch. All right, let's try the switch first. Let's see what that does. What's wrong? I can't seem to raise the switch. It won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. I bet it must be stuck. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky. If the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. All right. Can we scrunch and stretch the t-shirt? Cool. Now we can reach the pot, the kettle, uh, the chef's hat. He just has a bottle of wine just casually in there. All right, rock the kettle. Oh, what's this dialogue here? Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be? Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now they think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster, slowly being planted in a chicken. Hey, I just had a good idea. About what to do about the ladybug? No, I was thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. All right, we gotta hurry. Um. It's smoky in here. switch the chicken but how let's check out this guy's chef's hat uh, not quite 
Aha! Operate pedal. Hey, what's up with this lazy Susan? It's acting up today. Maybe it's out of sorts because I was spinning around on it yesterday. Interesting thing to do for a lady her age. Maybe it's out of sorts? How about thinking maybe it might be broken? But it really isn't broken, it's just us ghosts. Okay. Huh. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I thought I'd give it a little spin. Oh, I get it. You're going to make her take the one that doesn't have the ladybug on it. Right, and then that suspicious woman won't burn it up. Good thinking, but wait a minute. I don't know if that'll work. Huh? After all, even a girl like her is still bound to notice. I mean, platter's suddenly spinning around right before her eyes. Yeah, that's the rub. If only we could distract her for a minute. Yeah, I know, I know. doesn't feel right. Hold on. Need to wait a bit. Okay, there we go. back is turned we switched it all right is there anything else we need to do here i think we're good Bug is still sitting on the table. We did it. La la la, chicken. Thou art so beautiful, chicken. I took a bite. My heart swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you. La la la, la la la. Fate averted! <sighs> Finally! <laughs> Well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I... I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway... You were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on the case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. Progress! Hi, Patrick! Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask the questions that were still consuming me. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. 
All right, let's transport ourselves to this telephone. Disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I'm sa I've saved the redheaded detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Damn, look at her go! Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. So they just serve chicken just like that, huh? Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detective know this to seek out this restaurant tonight? I better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. You were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? But you guys are the ones who called me over! <laughs> Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Trick time. Okay, is it gonna let me ring the bell three times? One, two, three. Here we go. I think I was just doing it too fast before or something. Did you decide you want some chicken? Or me? After all? We didn't call you, sorry, but could you give us some privacy? No! Stay right there! Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. Say no more. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lynn has, or that valiant little doggy, Missile. I thought the ones I saved were supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plant a big one on you, detective. A big what? A bug or a kiss? Odd girl. I agree. Me too. A me three. Me three. Listen, Lynn. You've explained your side and I understand, but there's an APB out on you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly? No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into Detective Jowd's case on your own? Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay?
So, how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great. But, you know, with Detective Ringe, that's his name, by the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Wow, she's definitely not showing it, is she? Oh, brother. He's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a pass, just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious the first time I saved you too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So, for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. Makes sense. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But I've still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. All right, let's get some answers. Death Row Inmate Jowd. What is your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jowd? He seems like more than just a coworker. Yes, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened 10 years ago. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! On that day, 10 years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then, suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I thought I was going to die. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then that really loud sound, I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're all right now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Alright, what is this point X? Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for? Me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of the deal, except for one person. Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella, eh? Apparently, you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Well, yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jowd were good friends. 
Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jia was always very particular about thorough investigation of the crime scene. And Inspector Cabanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two lead the detective vision led the lead the detective division in those days. And Inspector Cabanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jowd incident, now he distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. So that's how he became head of the Special Investigation Unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend saved, huh? He really looked out for me, helping me study for my detective exam. Fudging my exam scores for me! <laughs> this girl. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabanella, eh? Wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. How about Camilla? Sure is taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. Doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger crisis, the more girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camilla stays safe, no matter what. Camilla and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box. That box was a present from Detective Jowd. From Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. The box arrived three days after that murder ha incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So, what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm, that's a shame. Sissel, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from out of the blue? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel and how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. She cleaned that chicken to the bone! That was great! Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way it took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. The case you say you're looking into, is it Detective Jowd's? What if it was? I... I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... It's tonight. Detective Jowd's... You know... It's tonight. His execution. But there's still time! I looked into it, and I found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. Damn. Isn't there anything we can do to stop it? Of course not. It's too late now. Not without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. I'm going to go see him then. What? Uh, see who? Who else? The Justice Minister! 
Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Cecil. Me? Get to the prison. Stop that execution. Easy enough for you to say. Detective Ringe, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I can do? Could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, your little Camilla? Okay, I got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jowd. <laughs> Did he hear her talking to Sissel? The life of yet another person is connected. I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. 